Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Tamriel Tuesday. Yes. So, last time I left off, I was on the other side of that door, and these guys were kicking my ass. Well, as um, a way to sort of avoid um, basically having to put you all through watching me run back and forth through the door until I could kill them all, well, I decided to just, uh, not. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I, I just, before I started the stream, I came in, I thought, okay, there's gotta be a way to do it. I did it, I kited them all around, and it took way too long, so I decided, you know what, I'm not gonna put you through it, so, yeah, that's how much health I have left. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I'm gonna rest for 12 hours to get all my health back. And since we're here, we're gonna go save Mera Milo. And if I remember correctly, her cell is this one. Yes, it is. The one on the right. Is there something I can do for you, Outlander? We can run. Yes, I have the Divine Intervention Scrolls. I'll need one so we, uh, for my escape plan. Getting out will be a lot faster and safer for you if you have one. But if you haven't got one, maybe you can find another way out. Now listen, here's my plan. Give me the scroll, I'll meet you at the Dissident Priest's Monastery at Holomayan. For safety, we'll travel separately. When you get out of here, look for a woman named Blera Heteria, the East Docks of Ebonheart. Tell her I sent you and that you want to go fishing. She'll bring you to Holomayan by boat. I'll meet you there, and we'll get the lost prophecies from uh, Gilvus Bars Barella. Gilvus Barella, uh, that's the name. <laughs> um, the leader of the dissident priests. And magic, conceal, uh, and magic conceals the Holomayan entrance. Speak to Vervana Arian, a monk at the dock of Holomayan about the hidden entrance. Cool. Okay, uh, what else? Persecution, Nine Divines, Daedra, Ancestors, the good Daedra, Boetia, Mafala, and Azura, a loyal friends of the Tribunal Temple. These Daedra are the good Daedra. They're the good Dalek. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it needs a heck of a lot more fog. So, Mera Milo is going to use the scroll, and since I've already killed all the guards, I'm just gonna go and save everyone else. I can't imagine eating one of those things. I don't know what he's on about, but he can stay there. As can he. I don't. <laughs> that's us. Uh, that's, uh. Alright, I like it. Right, I'm Come, I like you. The uh, ordinator here Speak, got very, very stuck under the stairs, so I just killed him where he was. <laughs> the other three, I had to basically just bring them down one at a time until my health got really low, and then I escaped through the door. Basically, I cheesed my way into that one. That's that's what happened. <laughs> Screw you for preventing me to get lunch. You can go get lunch. It's fine. <laughs> that one is locked, which means the exit is that one out there. Well, it's not like I get a, a bounty from killing these guys. What do you want? He is the grand. Someone is going to make you regret this mistake. <laughs> oh, ow. <laughs> if I get hit by another one of those, I am so dead. But I killed the Grand Inquisitor. Ha 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 ha. Let's see, he has a steel claymore. Truth Seeker key, I'll take it. <laughs> the 
Nothing else interesting. I already have the helmet. Yes. I do have the helmet. No. <laughs> he did, but he damn near almost killed me too. Oh, come on, you can cast a spell. <laughs> Please cast a spell. Thank you. <laughs> it would be great if I could heal a bit more than that. And a bit more. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm mine. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, she's there. She's probably not terribly happy with me. Um, let's see. I can hit the water. Speak, traveler. Maybe. It's not a whole lot of water that's reachable from here. Reachable. Well, that's where we want to go anyway. So, Ali. <laughs> Well, uh, the, that healing spell does, um, it heals from 3 to 22 points of health. So I was basically, uh, banking on RN Jesus to heal me from that one. <laughs> oh, hello, we have a fish. Where's the fish? There it is. Okay. So, talk to what's her name on the boat, and she'll take me to Holomayan. Watch when you have the time. Okay. So this is Ebenhart, named by, you know, the ebony statue that they have smack in the middle of town. <laughs> I'm guessing this is the person I need to talk to. It would be nice if I... Aha! Them's the stairs I was looking for. <laughs> Good evening. No, you're not the one I'm looking for. <laughs> Let's not land up in the water again. Short trip, long trip. You decide. No, it is that one. Okay. <laughs> it was in fact this person, but yeah, no. I looked at it, it's like, no, it's not you. Know me? Right. You're Pither. My friend said you might want to go fishing. Yes, I do want to go fishing. <laughs> I know a fine place. Excellent fishing, my friend. Maramala says it's her favorite fishing spot. You ready to go? Yes. Good. I'm ready to take you to the Hall of Mine anytime you're ready to travel, and I'll be here to offer that service anytime you need it. Okay, let's go to the Hall of Mine. She's saying things. Aha! There we go. So we went all the way from here to here. That That's significant. All right. Mayan monastery is here on this island. Take the stone pathway north from the docks uh, and the path uphill. The entrance is hidden by a magical shield. Wait or rest at the head of the path and the portal will open at dusk and dawn only. The magical twilight hour is sacred to Azura. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Shay. Hello, Linda. It's always a pleasure to be on your TV. <laughs> uh, you can find her at the library with Master Borello. Later, I can arrange for you to return to Vivek. Alright, so she takes us back to the city. Which is nice. Although... The Shrine of Azura should be around here somewhere. Okay. There's a rat. <laughs> There's two rats. <laughs> okay, so at dusk and dawn. This is 2 p.m., so if we rest... Four hours, it'll be six. 
There it is. <laughs> the crackly is not consistent. Well, if there's anything that repeatedly introduces a lot of cracklies, you need to let me know. And everyone else uh, watching the stream, of course, also let me know. Would be very, very helpful. I was kind of trampling all over the bones of their ancestors. Outlander, what do you want? I am looking at your books. Yes, I'm Matsera. Matsera. Uh, hmm. Speak your needs. I'm looking for your books. Just because I want to learn things. <laughs> Shopping for enchantments. Enchantment? <laughs> Enchantment! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, that was too obvious not to. Uh, <laughs> okay. Actually, it would be very nice if he could actually enchant my stuff, but... Uh, ooh, we have a soul stone with a fl uh, for a flame... Atronach. <laughs> eh, but we can't really... Yeah, we can't do the permanent, um, constant effect things. We need the soul of a golden saint inside a grand soul gem in order to be able to do that. Them's the books. I'm just looking for the pricey ones, like this one that teaches me, um, medium armor. And this one teaches me block. Block is useful. Block is very useful. Uh, the arena, it's pricey. Well, pricier. But doesn't really teach me anything. The real Baron Zaya? Oh, the biography of Baron Zaya. Alright. Chronicles of Nechleft. Thirty-six. There we go. Athletics of 52. That's what we're looking for. Them's the kind of books I'm after. Yes. I'll talk to you two in a moment. Nothing that seems interesting there. Give me a moment. I'll talk to you right now. Because I think we're done. Attention, Outlander. You know my name. You don't need to call me Outlander. How can I help you? Dissident priests. A significant part of the temple hierarchy might be more inclined to accept and tolerate differences of opinion and dogma, but other parts of the temple, in particular the Ordinators, under Beryl Sala, claim that the threat of Red Mountain and Degather can only be resisted with a unified, resolute faith. These people are afraid, so they support the hardline. But if we can show ourselves to uh, be able to confront Dagathar more effectively than the Ordinators, the temple uh, and the people will support us. Yes. So can I have the Lost Prophecies, please? I've reviewed the Apographa and found two passages of particular interest. We've made copies of these passages to give to you. Many um, are familiar with the two Nerevarine prophecies current among the Ashlanders uh, called the Stranger and the Seven Vision. Seven vision. Not seventh vision. I'm pretty sure I already made that particular uh, comment, but whatevs. Um, we have two other prophecies. The Lost Prophecy and the Seven Curses. Let me uh, offer additional insights into the riddles uh, surrounding the coming of the Incarnate. Perhaps these are the Lost Prophecies that your friend Nibani Maesa told you about. We also have prepared a document for you called Kagernax Tools. Hey. <laughs> Message used to be able to trap things in soul gems. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kagernax Tools. Uh, it's nice. It tells us about uh, the keening and the sunder. And how... Basically, they will kill you if you don't have the Wraith Guard equipped. The document will explain to you until there is a terrible secret the temple conceals about the true history of the tribunal and the corrupt nature of their divine powers. It is to conceal this secret that the temple persecutes the Nerevarine and the dissident priests. This persecution must stop. We must be united against the true enemy, Dagathar. And if you are the Nerevarine, you must lead us against him. Nerevarine. 
Our interest in the Nerverine used to be a matter of principle, a willingness to consider the validity of magical in uh, insights rejected by the Temple Doctrine. Now, Degather grows stronger while the Tribunal grows weaker. In the return of Saint Naravar, and the return of Saint Naravar. Even if only reborn in spirit, maybe our best prospect of salvation. What about Degather? So long as your donators, buoyant armigers, and a tribunal uh, could contain the blight in Degather's creatures within Ghost Fence, faith in the temple's protective power was strong. But now travelers and settlements suffer, uh, suffer from blight storms and marauding monsters, and the people fear the temple is losing it age its ages old battle with the devil. Degather. Nerevar. Alright. By the way, here are a few books from our library you might find of interest. Each gives um, a very different impression of Nerevar. The real Nerevar, Nerevar, Moon and Star, Saint Nerevar. Alright. Lost Prophecy. I've annotated the copy of your Lost Prophecy with our best uh, efforts at interpretation. <laughs> I uh, I know that you can reuse Azura's star as um, as a soul gem, and basically then you just transfer the soul to whichever item you just uh, enchant, and you could yeah you could keep reusing it. But I don't know if there's like any extra powerful enchantments that you can get from it. I th thought the one thing about it was that it was um, reusable. But I may be wrong. It, it, it's been a long time. <laughs> uh. dip -a -dip -a -dip, it may explain how the prophecies got lost. Yes, okay. So that is what we're here for. What do you do? You barter. You barter for alchemical reagents. <laughs> Not that I have anything. Ooh, the books he gave me are pricey. The except for the, the real Naravar. Okay, reading about myself. Uh -huh. Let's see, the heroes of Castzer. Naravar, Moon and Star. Gasta kvata kvakis. Kagernax tools. As summarized, is it? Yeah, that's a wall of text. Uh, be, 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 be. Fey Foken. Doesn't teach us anything. A decoded package. Ah, right on. This is the package uh, that we took to Caius Cassades when we first started, and My he decoded for us up. and gave it to us when he left. He was taken back to the continent. Rumor says he didn't go willingly. Alright. I guess that path just makes it easier to go over there. I don't see the statue of Azura peeking out from anywhere, so... Maybe we're not as close to the shrine as I thought. No. I'm just climbing to see if I can see the shrine. There's, um, well, there's Dwemer ruins there. There's Daedric ruins there. Uh, yeah, Wiki says you can trap uh, Vivek and Almalexia souls with Azura Star. Yep. <laughs> yes, I'm basically playing Skyrim horse right now. <laughs> Uh, no. Uh, well, the door to the temple just closed because it's nighttime now. It's no longer dusk, technically. So, smack. Acrobatics up to 81. Alright, we've almost maxed um, acrobatics out. <laughs> Means that at some point I should stop jumping, but jumping is still faster than running, so. Still jumping! <laughs> Return to Vivek. Yes. Okay. Let's go to Ebonheart then. It's like, oh yeah, return to Vivek. I'll take it to Ebonheart. 
Close enough, I suppose. Nope, no mods. Um, it's just uh, OpenMW. OpenMW running the base game and the expansions, obviously. But yes. So, I suppose with this. The idea of an Outlander and a Riverine. Gilvas Borello, Gilvas Borello. Yep, I need to get the Lost Prophecies to the Bani Maesa, who happens to live over there. Well, over here. Which means I can go to Kull or Margon. Go to Kull, I'll probably have to go along the coast. Margon, kind of already know the path because I've done it a few times. Um, let's see. That's a nice view of Vivek with the, um, the Ministry of Truth. The asteroid that was gonna basically annihilate everything and everyone if Vivek hadn't stopped it. <laughs> Short trip, long trip. You decide. Should try the community the texture replacement at some point. Just playing Skyrim VR via Proton, yeah. Uh, co-worker Dave is also um, now going through, or he said he was going to, at some point, try and finish Skyrim. And uh, Dave, if you're watching this, which you're probably not, just, yeah, you should. <laughs> right, we can go to Vivek. And from Vivek, we'll take the Silt Strider. Look at its pretty face. <laughs> and I think I mentioned this, but uh, if you have the you Dragonborn uh, DLC for Skyrim, you, you can actually find the last surviving uh, Silt Strider. It's the one that takes you to Soul's Time. Uh, Bipper, Malak Bar, Balmora, Suran. I'm half tempted to come here to see if I can kill Umbra and get another chonky sword. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Might come back later. But yeah, I'm gonna try and find him anyway. And that was both uh, fight and. Find, in one word, find. <laughs> Not gonna eat the Silt Strider. Stupid rats of the air. I think Umbra is around here somewhere. Just gotta find where. There's Suron. There he is. There's Umbra. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> but hey. Hello. There are many creatures beyond the cities. Good hunting. Thank you. Right. Name is unimportant. What is the use of knowing my name? If it will make you more comfortable, you may call me Umbra. It is the name of my blade, though it may as well be mine. Accomplishments are few. What are any of my accomplishments in the whole of this world? I have traveled from one end of the land to the other. I have killed creatures that can stop a man's heart with but a look. I have the blood of man and mare uncountable on my hands. I have seen the atrocities of war and the hideous successes of peace. There is nothing left for me in this world. Atrocities of war. I have seen the wholesale slaughter of men, women, entire races of people. Villages have burned before my eyes. My hand has held the torch, and my hand has thrown water on the flames. 
I have been ankle deep in blood, swinging Ubra in a wild arc. All for the glory of the battle, and here I will stand. And... Well, <laughs> nothing left. I have no more to do in life. I have saved whole towns from packs of Daedra, and I have slaughtered men for the glory of countless nobles. All that is left for me is my own death, and the gods have cheated me of that. All that I ask is that I die like a warrior. Where how can that be? <laughs> die like a warrior. I don't believe it is too much to ask to die as a war as a warrior should in battle. It is my curse. Though I have found that no one can best me in combat. Are you the one that can? Can you come and lift me from these shackles of life? Come then. Be the new wielder of Umbra. I will give you the death you deserve. No, you, you will give will me. Die here. You will give me the death I deserve. I will kill you he deals a hell of a lot more damage than I do. <laughs> Yeah. Chris Amer is no match for Umbra. <laughs> okay. Uh, Chameleon. The Chris Amer. No. No. I, I'd need a scroll that would let me deal a frick ton of damage. Or make me damn near invincible purity of body. That's good for healing, but in a sustained fight, that's not going to help me much. A scroll of the warrior's blessing. 60 seconds, fortify attack. Nope, not enough. All right. I will come back for you, Umbra. I will come back for you. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> I very much did because Umbra is actually very, very, very powerful. And all things considered, I have like two bits of armor that are any good. Everything else is crap. Like crap, crap. I need to find some Daedric armor. Or the dragon scale heavy armor. Man, that's... I have an idea of where that is, but it's a pain in the butt. Where would you like to go? In any case, we were going to, um... Where were we going? Ah, oh, yes. Balmora. And then from Balmora to... Aldron. From Aldron to... Margon. We make a special choice. That's right. Say hello, brother. And that from Margon, yes, we follow the ghost fence here and then go all the way up. Yes. This is the road uh, most traveled, and travel it again, we shall. Up against the wind, which means we better off using the. <laughs> yes, I saw the map mirror. I don't think I was close to any of it yet. I may be wrong. Those guys still not attacking me, so I'll take it. I'll take it and I'll just keep following the river of fire. And then here is where we face away from the ghost fence. And keep following the um the r what's left of the uh, lava riverbed from Red Mountain. That scrub is disease. How we know that? I don't know. <laughs> no, doesn't necessarily take me closer. 
Well, at least the wind is on our back, which means we do walk a little bit faster. That is until that ginormous dick up there decides to swoop down and um, try and poke us with its tail. <laughs> There's the fire. Kick its ass. No. <laughs> There's the next hound. I'm gonna kick its ass. I did. <laughs> Jordan, you are the burning fool, not I. <laughs> Could be worse. Could be flying and keep our fish. <laughs> ah, here it comes. One of them had to see me at some point. I'd already gotten lucky with two of them. So, um, you know, law of probability says that one's gonna see me too. <laughs> Or maybe not. Alright, so, what have you all been doing? How's your, um, how was your Linuxy Linuxy weekends? Did you miss us? Our Sundays and Mondays without some Linux game cast something to be... Um, oh yeah. I could use the boots. I could actually use the boots. <laughs> I have uh, run this road before, and some of the enemies seem to have respawned, but might be worth it. Du -du 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 -du. Something's attacking me. <laughs> as soon as I put the boots on. <laughs> yeah. There was a bug, I think I mentioned this when I got the boots, but yeah, there was a bug that if you uh, quick saved uh, immediately after you put the uh, the boots of blinding speed on, the blindness would disappear. <laughs> well, whatever was chasing me still is. So... Tippity pity 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 pity. <laughs> and there's the camp. Something else is chasing me now. Okay, that's a cliff racer. Right on. Okay, so let's not take the cliff racer into camp. Let's put the steel boots back on. It was probably that thing that was following me the whole way. <laughs> Clever. There is someone watching me. I can tell. Very clever use of sound ahead, effects. <laughs> what do you need? Very clever indeed. Right. Hello. Hi. Yes, I do have the prophecies. Uh, you have these lost prophecies. Will you tell me these thing? Uh, you will tell me these things over and over until I have them by heart, and then uh, you will tell me what these priests say and what they see in these words, and then you must leave me. Hunt, sleep, train, feed, learn the land. I must bring these things into me and place them before my ancestors and listen to them. Into the skies and the stars of my dreams. And then, when the moons have come and gone, return. And I will give you my judgment. Your judgment. Okay, I'll just take your judgment right now. The ancestor stars have given me clear signs. The lost prophecies leave no doubt. The incarnate shall be an outlander. You, blessed by Azura must lift the seven curses of Dagathur. Prophecy is shown the seven steps of the Nerevarine's path, and I have been chosen to be your guide for each step on that path. I will read the signs and show you the way. It is time for you to walk the seven wisdoms and pass the seven trials of the seven visions. You are born on a certain day to uncertain parents, so you have passed the first trial. My dreams show me you also fulfill the second trial. Neither blight nor age can harm him. The curse of flesh before him flies. And I have read the signs, but I cannot understand. Can you explain this to me? 
and I tell her how I got corpus and was cured. That you have overcome the curse of flesh is strange enough, but that it should protect you from blight and age is past belief. Well, we don't, we're not entirely sure if it does protect us against age, but eh. Yet the signs of my dreams are clear. You have passed the second trial, but the third trial is unfulfilled. The mystery of the third trial is not my secret to share. Go to Sur Matur, the guardian of our cult, and he sh- Oh, just straight up calling themselves a cult now. Alright, Dr just drop the pretense, just- <laughs> <laughs> there will be snacks. There will be snacks. Um, the guardian of our cult. And uh, Egyptian gods, believe it or not. Uh, and he shall tell you of the third trial. When you have fulfilled the third trial, return to me for guidance on your next steps of the Nerevarine. Third trial. In legend, there is a shrine to Azura called the Cavern of the Incarnate. <laughs> yes. That's where we're going. Right on. <laughs> a warm welcome to you. Okay, I want that ring. I really do want that ring. Just because I really don't have any nice rings. Sulmatul! Yes, the third trial. Yes, I do. <laughs> when your PC is old but it gets a job done? Yes. <laughs> Uh, you have entered the path of the Nerevarine. It's a hard thing to believe, but anybody my has spoken to be at length of this. When? <laughs> and I've had no- uh, and I've had time to consider. Man, these people work fast. Therefore, I shall keep my own counsel. And set before you, uh, my own test. I do not dispute the wise women, but their ways are not the ways of the warrior. Many before have tried, uh, the path of the Nair of Reen, but all have failed the warrior's test. They must have strength, courage, and cunning. These things I would test. Nearby lies Kogorun, an ancient hall's forgotten house, House Dagoth. In a recent time, creatures of blight have come to dwell there. I myself went there with some brave hunters and came back again. But it was a bad place, and I am not ashamed to say I was afraid for myself and my men. If you would have uh, for me the secret of the third trial, the caverns dark where Azura's eyes see, you will first bring to me three tokens of Dark Kogoron. The first token is Corpus Weepings of a Corpus Beast. Yes. The second token is a cup marked with the House Dagoth. Yes. Uh, dip -a -dip -a -dip -a -dip. The third token is the Shadow Shield, which lies in the tube of Dagoth Morin, in the lava tunnels deep beneath ruined Kogoron. Oh, just straight up sending me into... The belly of a volcano. Good times. <laughs> Bring these things to me, and then I will tell you the secret of the third test. Here, Dick! And where's Kogoran? Kogoran was an ancient. Go by day in good weather, or you may miss it on your way. Right. Kogoran. That's far the fuck away. <laughs> easier to just. Use a scroll to go to Kull, take the thing to Margon, and then walk from there. Okay. Alright. In fact, I might just do that, because this storm isn't going to help me. Alright. This is Kull. Yes, it is. There's the Silt Strider, and if I'm not mistaken... Yes, the <laughs> the person in charge of the Silt Strider is down here. Hello. Take me to Margon. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. That direction somewhere. Right on. <laughs> Believe it or not, every single smack on the ground like that trains me in acrobatics. <laughs> And since jumping is faster than walking, well, jump I shall. Right. So basically, follow a very similar path, but instead of turning left, just keep going around Red Mountain. Right on. Cool, cool. <laughs> I 
I stole that one helmet for a very particular reason, and that's so I can kill a bunch of ordinators next time I'm in Vivek. Okay, I'm going to have to horse my way up these mountains. Because it will be easier if I have to just, you know, drop from the mountain instead of having to climb it from the other side, where it might not be so easy. Ideally, that's my reasoning anyway. And apparently it's not very easy to climb from this side either. But it's manageable and we're right up against a ghost fence now. Can we see anything interesting? Is that a sleeper? Or an ash zombie? Well, whatever it is. Or maybe an ash slave. Either way... Yes, yes, of course you saw me. Sky rats. <laughs> I have scrolls of levitate. <laughs> well, potions of levitate anyway, I think. Uh, Reflect. Well, I had them. Yes. Last one, too. Alright. That way. So let's go up this hill here. Who needs cheats when you can just straight up levitate? Yeah. <laughs> Still levitating? It's still levitating. Right on. Something saw me. Oh, it was one of these dicks. <laughs> yes, I can fly too. <laughs> okay. Uh, that way. There's a Dunmer stronghold down there. Nick's hound that says how when it dies. Hello. Okay. That way. Smack. <laughs> That's where we're going, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's where we're going. <laughs> Kaguti. And another Nyx Hound. And an Alet. We're visited by all the weird creatures. Oh, hello. There's a naked elf running at us. <laughs> he didn't live very long. <laughs> <sighs> well, there's a ghost. There's just a ghost. Out in daytime. No. <laughs> I have a magical sword. <laughs> I'm the one who wins. Alright. This is indeed Kogorun. The Temple of Fey. The Dome of Urso. And Dome of Pollock's Eve. Let's start with this one. Oh, look! It's one of them! <laughs> they got Garrisy type fellas. I should rest. Yep, that's a six house amulet. Are those pricey? Yes, they are. I shall take one then. <laughs> right. House Dagoth Cup. Okay, that's one. That's one of the things I was looking for. Err. There's like two big buildings. That one's bigger, so I guess I'll take this one afterwards. Oh. And we got one of the really big ones. Cthulhu looking... Bitches. <laughs> Bitches. 
boy, we have ourselves a lot of magicka, don't we? Is he out of magicka? I think he's out of magicka. I should have rested before I came in here. <laughs> This rate, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Restore health. Okay. Just needed the one hit, but that was a bit more difficult than I thought it would be. The dreamer is awake. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Alright. Well, besides that ginormous prick, um... Cthulhu looking fella. Dagoth Reller. That's his name. There's nothing else in here. Huh. <laughs> the elephant looks broken. <laughs> yeah, my Delire does tell us that there are dragons. Okay. If there's another one. And there are enemies nearby. Okay. No enemies here, so... Now ah, we can go and fight that one. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> yeah! I wasn't testing to see how much damage that dealt, but... <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> okay, I need to heal if I get hit by the poison one, apparently. I will do this dance all day. But now, I have stamina, which means you die very quickly. Right on! I can't take the thing. <laughs> Another six house uh, bell hammer. We already have one of those in our collection, so I shall not be taking it. <laughs> Nothing there. You only had the helmet. Well, this temple is very disappointing. Very disappointing indeed. It doesn't l even let me take the fancy looking thing that they have here. And there's nothing up top. Alright. <laughs> cool. Oh, that was the enemy that was nearby. It's one of them sky rats. Right. I think this is where we'll find the other two things. The weepings of a corpus monster. Like this guy. There we go. Corpus weepings. That's number two. So we have the cup, we have the weepings, now we just need the shield. From what's-his-face that's down below. I quick save there. I hope I don't come to regret that. <laughs> yeah, kind of like that. <laughs> no one else here. Give me your amulet then, and I shall rest until healed. Alright. Well, they put everything on the tables. I don't know why, but they did. Parchment with scrollings. All cries are waking. Whitest white of all white. Blackest blacks of all blacks. Shame and sun, sun and shadow. Stronger than gods, brighter than mortals. Only he is awake, only he is alive. He knows the names and the naming. He knows the wait and the waiting. He enters into every star and moon. He shines through their shadows. One shape, one spelling, one wraith, one casting. From darkness he is armed. From light he is warded. He is all things. Drake, Lich, Theoman. 
On rivers of fire he comes forth, through storms of dreams he rides, with slivers of steel he pierces the heart. All spells, powers, curses broken, the chains are shattered, the scales fall away, and I see you with my eye, and all I see is silence. I wake, I remember, Lord. I don't know why I read that like that, but I did. So that's something you um, witnessed. <laughs> All right. Another corpus stalker. Died just as easily. <laughs> These weepings, they give us um, the ability to make restore health potions. So uh, uh, I, I, I really do not mind taking more than one. Okay, that's outside, so I'm guessing the river of lava is down below, which means we should go up here first. See what's... Uh, well, there are enemies, but... See, rest here, then go... Yes. Get into the habit of resting before going into new places. Because fighting with stamina usually yields much better results. There's a shrine. But there was also an enemy. At least the one. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> uh, why was I looking at the wall? I don't know, but I was. <laughs> it's just you? If it's just you, then we're okay. Give me your uh, amulet. That goes up. Up is good. Ebony spear! 10,000 gold! <laughs> Damn! Yeah, I need me some ebony armor. I didn't even need Daedric, just ebony armor would be awesome. Hello there, Mr. Ashslave. Yeah, your spells don't do anywhere near as much damage as the other did. Uh, the whole of Fisto. I didn't even realize what its name was. <laughs> Anywho, we need to get back to the thing because I saw more stairs up. So... Right there. Oh yes, it was in there that the stairs went up. Up then. <laughs> That's a nice view. <laughs> and there's another naked elf. <laughs> Goodbye, naked elf. He wasn't the only one. You see that thing? This thing right here, it's trying to attack me. I think I'm gonna get in range just so I can kill it. <laughs> okay, nothing else seems to want to try and kill me immediately. So we're good. We're very good. And the point of coming up here was just the view. Don't get me wrong, it is a nice view, but that's it. Alright. Okay. Cool. Alright. <laughs> down we go then. All the way down. To the rivers of lava. Mm. This way was the shortest way, wasn't it? I think. Yes, that's where the Ashley was. Which means the door to the Hall of Fisto. With a PH is right here. That goes outside. Okay. So we need to go down. Down. As the flames go higher. Hall of Maki. Of course there are enemies here. Let's do the resting thing and then go back in. Sound advice. 
Hello. Are you alone in there? I'm kinda scared of the Cthulhu looking fellas and um Yeah. Can you come out here please? Please? Or, you know, just <laughs> glitch run by the doorway. That that's fine too. <laughs> Apparently that doorway is far more interesting than I am. Right. Is anyone hiding in the darkness? Oh, but there's a door. A sturdy wooden door. That leads us down. Okay, so that's where we want to go. Right, what's on the table? I see a book. The Annotated Anwar. Shard arrow. Just the one arrow. Alright, I'll take it. Fortify endurance might be useful. Probably won't be, but might be. I have a spell of light. I'm not very good with illusion. This might not work. Please, one. A open MW people, I think light is broken? <laughs> Do I have a torch by any chance? I don't see a torch. Yeah. So light's broken. That's great. <laughs> I have a potion of light. That just gives me light and I don't have to cast a spell. Yes, the potion of light. There we go. An expensive shirt. That's the thing that was hiding in the darkness. Hound meat. And there's nothing up there. Alright, I'll take the meat. That's fine. <laughs> Another sturdy wooden door. Um, okay, now I'm not so sure that back there was progress. I think this is progress, mostly because there's a flame atronach. That has a bit of trouble coming up the stairs. At that distance, no. <laughs> I just one shot at a flame hadronach. <laughs> uh, still not strong enough to kill Umbra, but that 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 feels good. That feels very good. Right. Okay. I'm not so sure. That was progress, so I'm gonna go and have a look now. <laughs> Let's see. What's down here, and why was it behind a sturdy wooden door? There's a lot of sturdy wooden doors. And they're all locked. But, I have an amulet. And I have a spell. That I could sort of kind of maybe cast reliably, but meh. Amulet of opening! Oh, prisons. Let's see, a dead hero. What do you have, dead hero? Ebony short sword. Give me mine. Mine, 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 mine. <laughs> and a journeyman's lockpick. Full set of chitin armor. Well, the bits that Khajiit could wear. Because Khajiit in this game and um, the... God damn it, what's their name? Argonians. They can't wear boots because of their legs and the talons. And raw ebony weighs 10. Well, I'm dropping it in case I need something. Uh huh, nothing else. Cool. I'm glad I came to investigate this place. <laughs> Hello there, dead hero. You have... Glass armor, glass shield... Aren't we wealthy? 
she has fury. <laughs> she has the long blade fury. <laughs> this is another big ass sword that uh, you really don't want to use because it makes you blind and it drains a bunch of your skills. It makes your attacks more powerful, but it drains you very, very much. Okay, it's time to drop that um, bit of ebony. God, still not enough. I need to drop something else. Not them. Yep. Yeah. The swords that the ordinators were using against me, you can have them. That's fine. And a glass halberd. Mine. <laughs> Man, am I glad I came to investigate this place back here. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have a crap ton of money, and you can just look at how much these things are worth. <laughs> ah, I could basically trade it for just about anything with anyone. <laughs> right. So, here we are. At the bottom of the Hall of Maki, after the Halls of Fisto, with two doors left. All right, and this is where this particular stream shall end. Join me next week as we make a decision of left or right to see if we can find what it is that we need to know about the third trial in order to become the Nerverine. Does that sound good? It will sound good. All right. Thank you all very, very much for joining me. Thank you, uh, TuxFu, for the... Um, <laughs> For the hundred bits, very much appreciated. D don't worry, Mir. There will be uh, some Dark Souls after I'm done with this uh, particular quest right here in Vardenfell. But yes, thank you all very much for joining me. I shall see you um, tomorrow for Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays. Myself, Jill, and Ven uh, will all be... Well, we'll all be talking about some linux -y news. And of course, on... Um, on Thursday, Jordan's going to be doing his thing, whatever that happens to be. On Friday, there's a Friday Night Fubar, so Ven will be also doing whatever he happens to be doing. And on Saturday is the big show, Linux Gamecast Weekly. So yes, join us for this uh, work week of interesting, entertaining, or at least I hope it was entertaining, uh, linux -y content. Tune in tomorrow. Same time, same channel. See ya!